Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Habib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears? <laughs> he is so strong. He's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me down, but it's Just okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights out. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez, Oh, or it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 258 pounds. Chico! You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, this make it a So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. 
Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, he caught the kick, and now counters with the takedown. Any stuff there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground-and-pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend, but you can see him now start the game posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. Now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Medov's right back to the full mount here. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meta. Under two minutes now to go. Back to the feet now. 72 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nermago Meta. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Man, has he come out aggressively to start this fight and Landing at a pretty good clip, too. Connecting on a lot of shots up top to the body. Very technical striker, but tonight, really as aggressive approach as we've seen out of him in his UFC career. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, collar tie. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his close position. Just a slip there. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Connects now with the one two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Beautiful straight punch there by Nermago Meta. Liver kick. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he set down with a strike.
that was really damaging his opponent. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. All right, single collar tie now. Muay Thai plump, and he landed the right hand there. Effective punch there by Nermago Medoff. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the torch. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Left hand punch in the clinch. Nermago Medoff gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Nice great punch. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands often. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. you got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, you're going to land one. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Oh, nice. Nice. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, effective use of the jab by Nermago Meta. Let's go. We need to score that takedown now. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. That's a big strike right there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Flips the shot. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nurmagomedov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Great punch landing with so much power. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. And they set him. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Big punch in the middle. Nice leg kick land. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Cut, cut, cut. All right, let's get someone on this cut. Calm down. We knew it was going to be a bloody fight. We knew this, okay? 
All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Back to the overhand right, not there. Yes, but you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If there. you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Got Cliff with the right hand. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. Winning this fight going the way, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Right on the button. Ooh, blocks the shot. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to ring down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. I mean, how many can he take? With two minutes and change to go in round three. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. How many can he take? 90 seconds now to go in the round. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Back mount now. Back to his feet. Misses with the right hand. Nice punch man over the top. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Nermago Medov's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. It's not over, it's not over. Keep moving. 
Ooh, big shot lands. 15 seconds remain in the round. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC taken through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. Listen, you got to protect the body. He's landing way too many body shots. What is that about? All right, we're way too good for that. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Lands flush with that right hand. Strong defense there to block the shot. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Nice punch, Lance. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice uppercut inside. Well, I know Javier Mendez has said Khabib likes to go southpaw at times in training. Looks pretty good on the feet tonight. He looks really good in the stand-up. That is a part of his game that's underappreciated. He's a very good striker, and as he gets more comfortable in the octagon, they will continue to show. Just out of range with that left hook. There, huge block for him. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. And he caught the kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Spinning back fist. Oh! News hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, big left hook there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Stuffs the takedown there. Howard had a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Nurmagomedov's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that... Oh, clean entry as he gets the takedown there. Great entry, great timing, great finish. What a fantastic job on his front I mean, how many can he take? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Good work from the top here. That'll do it! And that'll do it! It's over! It's over! What a fight! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, 
he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Habib the Eagle Romero. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.